Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to talk a bit about thinking like a painter. As in, when you're using paint, digital or traditional, you've just got different options than you do if you're using something like a pen. Because when you're doing something like a comic book, you've got very hard edges to work with, and so that gives you a different set of choices. But when you're working with paint, you have a very soft medium, and that gives you both sharp edges as well as soft edges if you choose to use them. So I'm going to do a quick study today looking at these leaves in Sunbeam, and I'm going to do it thinking like a painter, utilizing what are called lost edges, or very, very soft edges. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. So on the left, you see I've got a photo of some leaves from Flickr, and on the right, I just did a quick block-in drawing just to get my shapes aligned. Although, unlike that comic book example, it's really only an underdrawing. They're not even on their own layer. So in today's video, it doesn't matter exactly the technique I'm using to paint with. The important part is the way I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to begin by painting in the shadow color of the leaf. This is the half that's not illuminated. And I'm really just going to be very loose and gestural here. Now I'm going to paint in the illuminated half. And you can tell I've made some color swatches ahead of time to help me get my color straight. And you can see where these two areas of color meet. It is a pretty hard line. That's the hard edge of the illuminated area. And I could also give some information about the shape of this leaf. So I'll zoom in a bit here and give it sort of a jagged edge because that's the way the leaf looks. And I'm using the eraser to define this. And because this is so highly illuminated, it's going to bring out little details like the veins. They're going to be very visible. And I could detail in this way for a while, but the idea is that this area that's starkly illuminated is going to have a lot more information. And that's going to lead to very hard edges. Well now if you look at this bottom half of the leaf, you can certainly tell that it's there, but it doesn't need to be terribly sharp. And here's where the lost edge idea comes in. There is almost no sharpness at all on this edge. In fact, I could make it even more lost if I wanted. So what this means is I'm really blending from the background into the foreground, which is the shadowy part of the leaf, allowing it to really be a soft transition. But here where it's illuminated, it's a much sharper transition. So I paused the video and I've gone ahead and finished out the sketch. And when you look at it, it's obvious that this is leaves in a sunbeam. And really, your brain is doing way more work than I ever did with a painting. Because those shadow areas of the leaves have essentially zero detail in them. I'm reserving my detail and my sharpness for the illuminated areas. And what that does is it sort of activates the painting. And if you zoom in here, you can see that there's really not much going on in these shadow shapes. There's a lot of lost edges. And then I have some nice sharpness on the edges that are illuminated. And this is something that's only possible with paint. And what I'm doing here is I'm leaving a little mystery. And it doesn't seem like that actively, but when the viewer is given an opportunity to use their imagination to fill in the cracks, they will. And they enjoy it. So no matter how you actually paint this effect, the important takeaway here is thinking like a painter. Because if I were to draw this same image in a comic panel, it would have a very different look. I would have a different set of options made possible by the pen. But the paint allows me to give an entirely different range of marks for the edges. And so, it's great sometimes to let some of them fade off into nothing. Don't worry about complete sharpness in your entire painting. So go give this a try. Go lose some edges. Have fun, and thanks for watching, guys.